All right, boys and girls, sit down because class is in session and today we are going to talk about the new 2018 iPad that Apple has unveiled during their education conference that happened a few months ago. So with that, guys, let's take a look at the new iPad. Even if Apple has released this tablet during its education conference, that does not mean that this tablet is fully focused on education because at the end of the day, this is still an iPad. If you have seen the last year's generation of iPad, then you have probably seen this iPad before. But the only difference between this iPad and the last generation is that this iPad is running on the A10 processor. It supports the AR features that Apple has introduced and it supports the Apple Pencil, which is very cool for those of you who are students that want to take down notes but don't want to carry so many notebooks and textbooks around. So this is a great alternative for students. So Apple has done a big change to the App Store, where last time it was just a simple plain old App Store, but now they have made it more intuitive and more interesting for users to actually browse the App Store. And one example is that we're going to show you the education section in the App Store. So as you can see here, this is the education section within the app. And on the top here, Apple has already highlighted certain apps. For example, if you want to learn something new for kids or even get inspired. Other than that, there's also other apps that you can browse here, which are all related to education. So this section of the App Store is not only catered to just school students, they actually cater to everyone. Even though if you're an adult or you're, uh, you're going to high school, there is an app for everyone if you want to further enhance yourself. Now that we have taken a look at the education section within the App Store, let's take a look at the apps they offer. So here I've actually downloaded three apps which I feel is suitable for preschoolers, uh, teenagers, and the last one is suitable for everyone. So the first one is called Think Think, which is a logic-based game to train the logic of uh, preschoolers based on certain activities. This is one of the games that are within the Think Think app. So this is pretty similar to, um, if you remember, there was a hollow box where kids would have to slot in shapes according to the cutouts within that box. So this is pretty similar to that. So all you need to do is just decide whether the block can fit through this wall. So parents can actually use this app to give, uh, to, initiate, to give initiative to the kids to actually try to score the highest point possible and maybe the parents can reward the kids with maybe ice cream or maybe some sweets. So it's very nice and it's very easy, simple to understand uh, logic-based games. So other than that, they also have other games such as Lucky Balloon which will basically uh, ask the kid whether uh, the arrow is going to pierce the balloon or not. And they also have Picture Puzzle, which is basically asking the kid to sort the puzzles into a certain picture. The second app is called Photo Math, which I feel will be suitable for uh, primary school students all the way up to even college. Now, it doesn't only work with normal math equation, it actually works with graphs as well. Now, Photo Math allows you to actually use the rear camera of the iPad to take a picture of a certain math equation and the app will solve that math equation for you. However, if you don't want to use that feature, you also can use the traditional calculator that you can actually type in a simple math equation and it'll give you the answer. You can even go up to uh, using fractions or even uh, square root if you need to. But the most interesting part is obviously using the rear camera to solve a math equation. So right here, I've already uh, enabled the rear camera with this app. Now I'm just going to point the rear camera at a certain math equation that we have right here. And as you can see down here, it's already solved the math equation for me. Now the beautiful thing about this app is that it actually shows you the steps of solving the equation. So it don't, doesn't only just give you the answer and you know hope that you figure it out on your own, it actually teaches you how to properly solve the math equation. And it, only, it doesn't only work with a simple math equation like this. If we actually go here and look at a more complex math equation, it can even do that for you. So what I'm gonna do here, the answer will be y equals to negative 4, so let's see whether the app detects that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point it at the top, math, the top equation. And as you can see here, y equals to negative 4. Now let's take a look at the steps. So as you can see here, an almost uh, replica of this. So maybe the app has a different way to solve a math equation because there is obviously different different ways to solve math equation. So at the end of the day, we still get the same answer. 
The last one which I found to be the most impressive is that it can actually draw out a graph for you. So here we have a graph equation and what I'm going to do is I'm just again I'm going to just going to point the camera at the equation. There you go. And as you can see here, it has produced the exact same graph as this uh, image. So now let's compare this graph according against this graph and as you can see here it intersects at negative 1 so I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a negative 1 over there and then here it intersects at um, 3 which is roughly about there which I feel is about correct and here is negative 4 which is exactly correct so this app is definitely good for those of you that have a lot of problems with maths and you maybe you don't grasp the concept of maths so this app will definitely help to improve your mathematics skills so as I mentioned before, this tablet supports the AR features that Apple offers and this app takes good advantage of that. It is called Civilizations AR and it's basically an app to teach you about the history of the world and show you the relics of times gone by. This app is by far my most favorite app out of all three. Now, this is an app that utilizes the AR features by basically projecting uh, the globe onto a certain surface. So for example, right now I'm just going to quickly scan a surface right here give it some space so at least we have a good enough amount of space to play around with the AR okay so I think that's pretty decent so what we do is we just tap and hold welcome to the world of civilizations there you go explore the globe to unearth history's ancient treasures so this is pretty cool app for those of you that are maybe historian buffs or those of you that just want to learn a little bit more about history so right here we are going to look at if I'm not mistaken this is a Spartan helmet yeah, from Greece, so it's basically a helmet. And here's the cool thing about this app. Certain artifacts can be interacted with. So for example, with this helmet, what I can do is I can actually restore the helmet. So you can see it's slowly restoring the helmet to its original look. So of course, if you don't want to you know, go through the trouble by, by rubbing your finger across all of it, you can just restore it all. And this is how the artifact looks like. Now, here's the cool part because we can actually move and take a look under the artifact for example like this so I can actually take a look at the inner part of the helmet which is I think is pretty pretty cool with this being the new iPad it also comes with the latest version of iOS which is iOS 11 and with iOS 11 it gives you the ability to multitask now we have seen the multitasking abilities on the iPad Pro however there is a slight uh, setback on this iPad because for example if I were to bring up two screens for my multitasking abilities they work fine there's no issue here at all however if I were to slide in a third app for the multitasking abilities the two apps in the background are going to be frozen so you can't really interact with them anymore until you dismiss the third app that you are trying to multitask with and once that app is dismissed then both the apps work fine as usual now the reason that Apple probably did this is because this iPad only has 2GB of RAM compared to the iPad Pro that has 4GB of RAM so it's pretty understandable that they have to freeze the apps in the background. Similar to the iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil will work on this new iPad. However, this is just my opinion but I feel that the tracking of the Apple Pencil is slightly more better on the iPad Pro compared to the regular iPad but for those of you that want to use the pencil to just take down some notes or maybe draw some diagrams for your meeting or for work then I think it will work pretty fine however for those of you that want to do some sketching or some drawing on it again just my opinion I feel that the tracking is going to be better on the iPad Pro but for those of you that have the iPad Pro or the regular iPad and you have the Apple Pencil do let me know what you think about the tracking if you have compared both the iPads. So guys, there you have it. That is the 2018 iPad. Now, if you are looking for a tablet that is pretty decently priced, then I think that this is honestly the only option that you have because let's be frank, there is no proper or decent Android tablet that is out there and a decent Android tablet is not coming out anytime soon either way. And if you're looking at a Windows tablet, then that's going to cost you a lot and a lot of money. For something that only costs you at a starting price of 1,449 ringgits, I think that this is the best option if any of you are looking for a tablet because you are getting the build quality of Apple and of course the reliability of iOS. So guys, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we take out videos like this every week and of course... Wow.
Wow. Wow.